Imagine consultants are judged on the strength of their roster. You know, we can't afford to bounce every nose-picking no-talent, but we can definitely lose the one who's dragging us down, and that's Amy. We can't do that. Her mother died last year. Yes, I know, I know, and it's tragic, but we are running a business. Amy is sucking up all of our time, and we should be focusing on Sherry. She actually has a shot at winning. How will I tell her family? Bye-bye, Daddy. Yes, see you, sweetie. Have fun. So I was, uh, I was thinking, you, you want to grab a cup of coffee or something after class? I'd love to grab a cup of coffee or something. <laughs> Amy, you are so lucky to have such a nice dad. Yeah, I know. Leave him alone. Excuse me? I want my dad to marry Sherry's mom. Sherry from class. We're best friends and we have it all planned out. Our parents are gonna get married and then we'll be real sisters. What about your dad? Don't you care what he wants? My mom died. All my dad wants is for me to be happy. Now, get in there and teach me how to work the runway. That's what we're paying you for, right? So hard, Sherry. You must really want to win this pageant. More than anything. No. Oh. Well, I think dedication should be rewarded. So I have a little surprise for you. What is it? Well, you know how the pageant starts with a big opening number? This year, all the contestants are going to dance in pairs, and I've arranged for you to dance with your best friend, Amy! What's wrong, sweetie? You two are practically sisters. We are. But she still sucks. And first impressions are everything. You said so yourself. Well, that's true. And this is the opening number. If the judges see me tripping all over that club, there's no way I'm gonna win. That's a good point. Now I wish I hadn't told Amy. You already told her? She was so excited. <sighs> well, she's your best friend. Why don't you just tell her the truth? She'll understand. What if she doesn't? Well, friends come and go. But a crown is forever. I can't believe you're doing this! Amy, don't you want me to have a chance? God, I hate you! I hate you! Don't ever talk to me again! Hi, Bill. I was wondering, do you plan Saturday night? Here it comes. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The winner of this year's Little Miss Snowflake pageant is... Sherry Maltby! <laughs> I'm in shock. I mean, I knew she had a shot at the top five, but to actually win? I was sure she'd lose to that little blonde bitch who sang that patriotic medley. I know. She practically had sparklers coming out of her ass. <laughs> totally shameless. Mm. Okay, hon. Let's go meet those reporters. What are you going to tell them? I owe it all to beauty by Vern. Had a girl. 